I've been following a morning routine every day for the past three years and I'm going to tell you exactly what my results have been. The importance of this video is because it doesn't matter what you do today, doesn't matter what you do tomorrow or even next week, that's not going to build an incredible life for you. If you want to build a life that you're incredibly proud of and that's going to be inevitably an incredible life, it's the daily habits that you take that's going to really determine the life that you lead. That's why morning routines are so important because they set out clearly the habits that you're going to follow every morning to set up success for the rest of the day. So let's first talk about the habits that I've got in place. What does my morning routine entail? And I'm going to talk you through all of the different benefits or drawbacks that I've found from having a morning routine. So firstly, let's talk you through how I came about wanting to have a morning routine. Because it's something you hear a lot about. And a lot of successful people talk about the routine that they have in the morning. And it's a question that a lot of successful business people get asked because there seems to be a sort of secret around what they do in the morning, how that sets themselves up for the success that they achieve for the rest of the day. Well, I realized that it was important to have a morning routine, but what really hammered it home for me was I read a book called The Miracle Morning, and that's by an author called Hal Elrod. And he takes you through his six-step morning routine. And I've sort of adapted that from that. So his acronym for his morning routine is SAVERS. So S-A-V-E-R-S. And they stand for silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and then scribing. And they're the six steps that he followed. Now, I tried to follow those for about the first month after I read the book. But I adapted the order that I did those in. And I made sure it worked for me. So the morning routine that I've been following for, for three years now is it's five steps and it's five steps that I've found easy to follow and something that I've been able to stick to consistently. And they consist of meditation, visualization, then some gratitude, then journaling, and then exercise or the gym, which is uh, the G that I use. So my acronym is, is not as good as his savers, but the way I go is MVGJG. And I know I go through those every morning. It takes me about an hour to go through that morning routine. But I know that once I've had that morning routine, I'm set up for the rest of the day. So I'll go through each step. So initially the meditation, it ties into the silence that's talked about in the Miracle Morning book. And essentially I'll sit there for two minutes at the moment. Uh, it does vary depending on the uh, the type of morning I'm having and how active my brain is when, when you wake up first thing. But to sit there in silence is very difficult to do. So initially, all I was able to do was maybe 30 seconds. And all you do is just focus on your breath. You'll get thoughts that pop up into your mind. But the, the power of meditation and the, the actual the reason for doing it in the first place is that you allow those thoughts to pop up. But then you immediately go back to focusing on your breath afterwards. And uh, it took me a long time to realize that. Somebody that's a very logical person, uh, and you might be the same, it's difficult to get your head around why it would make sense to sit there in silence. And it takes a while before you start to realize the benefits as well. So for me, I just thought I was doing it wrong for the first month or two months because I didn't feel any benefits. But eventually you started to realize how much of a difference it makes to the rest of your day in terms of how active your mind is. So you have that constant worrying away in your mind of all the thoughts that you're having. But by doing a meditation practice first thing, you start to become aware of those thoughts and you get very good at ignoring the th thoughts that come into your mind and just focusing on what's important. And that practice in the morning is just focusing on the breath. That's one, the first step. And actually, I think if you took anything away from this video, that's had so many benefits in terms of reducing stress, in terms of being able to focus on tasks. And now I make sure that I do deep work, which comes from a book from Cal Newport, for at least two hours every day. And the only way I'm able to achieve that, I believe, is because of the practice that I've done in meditation. Because instead of being distracted from phone notifications or getting distracted from emails or seeing another task that needs to be done and, and immediately jumping onto that, I'm now able to focus on one task for at least two hours without getting distracted from anything else. And I'd put that down to that meditation practice in the morning. Try it out and let me know how you get on. The second step is visualization. And this is talked about widely. And obviously athletes do it. They'll visualize their 100 meter sprint before they do it. So they can see exactly what they're going to achieve. 
And the way I visualize for myself is to see where I want to be in 15 years, in five years, and in one month. And I'll picture myself in that scenario where I want to be. And the idea of visualization is to absolutely believe that you're in that state and you're in that time. And so you know how it feels and then you can use that to inspire you for the rest of the day. Gratitude is the G, the next step. And you know we've got a lot to be grateful for. No matter what's going on in your life, there'll be many things that you can be grateful for. So think of at least five things in the morning that you can be grateful for. I've got a really low barrier to what I'm grateful for. You know, like, uh, you know, you know, just to like be awake or to have a roof over my head, which sounds like nothing, but it's something that it, we, we take for granted so often. And, um, you know, this sounds like stuff that really you know, doesn't matter. And I would struggle to cling on to this stuff when I first got into the idea of a morning routine. But, you know, trust me when I say once you've done it and you realize the benefits that you get from it, it's so worth it. Then the J in my morning routine is journaling. So that's when I'll write down um, what I've learned about in the morning. Um, so I'll read a book just before. And it's only a, a page in a book. I'm currently reading a book called The Daily Stoic. And that book, it has a little page every day that you read um, a, a lesson from the sort of Stoics in history. And each each day that will feed into the journaling. So I'll journal about what I've just learned about. And uh, from there, it will then inspire me to write down the things that I've been grateful for. And having things on paper, it's going to help you learn it so much more. And also it's going to help you to be clear on what your thoughts are at the start of the day. Then the next one is the G that I use for the gym. And I'll go to the gym uh, five out of the seven mornings in the day so I can get some form of exercise in to make sure that I'm staying active and looking after my physical health as well as my mental health. So that's the idea of my morning routine. And, uh, you know, I'm sure whatever works for you is whatever works for you. But those are, that's worked for me. As I say, it's been a bit of an adaptation over the course of three years. But over the whole three years, I've always done at least three out of those five steps. So I can talk to you now about the benefits of having a morning routine and going through those practices every day. Firstly, the biggest benefit I think has been on my mental health. So by following this routine, I feel so much more clear and focused throughout the day. The main thing within the morning routine is that you don't touch your mobile phone. You know, no matter what you're doing, make sure no matter what's going on, make sure you don't touch your phone. Don't scroll social media for as long as possible in the morning. Because I found all that's done is it increases the, the speed of thoughts in your mind. And you're straight away put into a reactive mode instead of a proactive mode. So one thing that's been huge for me, and it makes such a difference to how productive I am for the rest of the day, is avoiding my phone at all costs for as long as possible. As soon as you go into social media, your brain switches into reactive and consuming mode. Put it to one side until you've done the productive morning routine and the most important tasks. And then you can you know, scroll endlessly or whatever it is you want to do later in the day. I think that's so important that you leave that till later in the day. So we talk about the mental health benefits, but I used to be so all over the place with my work. I'd be doing one task, I'd see something pop up, or I'd think about a task that I needed to do later that day, and I'd just start it straight away. And I was constantly switching between tasks. I didn't have that focus. I didn't know what it is I was I needed to focus on. And so I ended up getting hardly anything done. I'd be uh, flitting from one task to the other. But what that inevitably meant is I was never completely focused on one task at any one time. And so all of the tasks didn't get 100% of my attention and the quality of work was not good enough. So if you want to build a business for yourself or something that's really going to be substantial or grow real successful business or career, you need to be able to focus and having that morning routine in place has been actually transformative for the amount of focus that I can put into any task that I follow. Now, talking about the physical health benefits of having that routine in place, there's a couple of things that I've noticed. So the amount of energy I have in a day is drastically improved. And the reason for that is because a couple of things we talked about. First is going to the gym and doing some exercise. It has this reverse effect of what you'd expect. Initially, when you start going to the gym in the morning, it would make you feel more tired. But eventually, if I haven't been to the gym, if I haven't been active first thing in the morning, I'll then feel more tired. It sort of works in reverse. It gives you more energy when you're expending energy in in the gym. You'll feel more energetic for the rest of the day. As long as you're not absolutely smashing the heaviest weights and you're not doing one rep maxes or PRs, 
that's really going to drain you. Other than that, if you're doing this, the type of exercise um, that's going to push you, but not to the point of exhaustion, that type of exercise, then I see a massive increase in my energy for the rest of the day. Now, thirdly, the effect on my career has been probably the biggest change. So three years ago, I was in a nine to five job in my local town at a housing association and I was completely unfulfilled. You know, I wasn't working uh, as effectively as I could be and I knew that I was in a job that it just felt like there was something more out there. And so after three years, and the morning routine has definitely had a part to play in this because I've been super clear on where I want to be uh, with that visualization practice. I've now got my own business that generates um, over, it's generated 700,000 pounds in that time. And this year we're projecting to do about 500,000 pounds of revenue by the end of the year. And we're continuing to grow at a fast rate. I've now got you know, a couple of businesses which are drop shipping e-commerce stores that generate those figures. Uh, and I also coach others now through the Dropship Unlock program to help others to grow their own businesses and to eventually get away from nine to five jobs, which is what I was able to leave now, and go into businesses that they can run and it will allow you to have a completely free lifestyle where you choose to do what you want to do wherever you want to be and where, you know do whatever you want with whoever you want. Um, and that's where I've been able to come in just three short years. But by setting up the daily habits, it's amazing. You know, initially you won't see much progress and that's why you've got to stick with it. But you can see so much progress over the course of, you know, just 12 months or three years. It's huge if you just stay consistent with something. So the biggest tip to leave you with for this video is consistency. So it doesn't matter what your morning routine is. Just make sure it's something that you can stick to consistently. I think the worst thing for you to do going away from this video would be to decide that you're going to set your alarm at 5 a.m. and that you're going to follow all of those steps that I've been through today. I think, you know, even if you were to follow all of those steps, just do each of them for 30 seconds each and just start off small. It just needs to be something that's so easy for you to do that you can do it without even hesitating in the morning. And if it's so early that you feel groggy for the rest of the day, that's not something you're going to be able to keep up. The worst thing you can do is have an amazing, perfect morning routine, but only follow it for one month because it will be pointless and you won't be doing it for long enough to be able to build up the momentum and for it to be able to compound to get the best results. Even if it's not the most optimal morning routine, even if you just do the visualization or you just do a bit of reading or you go to the gym in the morning, if you've got something in place that you can follow for the course of you know 12 months or for, you know, a couple of years, that's when you really make the gains. So the gains are definitely made in the long term. You won't feel much effect or I didn't feel much effect until you've been doing it for a little bit of time. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. And I think if you put some of these practices in place, you'll see the same benefits that I've seen. If you're interested in anything that I've talked about today, check out the description. If you're interested in actually building an e-commerce business for yourself, then the first link in the description is a training program to help you out with doing that. Hopefully this has inspired you and you found it useful. Um, if you've got some comments and to think of, tell me about what your morning routine is at the moment, then use the comments beneath this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers.